Hi, I'm Tano Bandar. 2009 and 2010, Georgia State Geography Champion. I'd like to welcome you to my hometown of Athens. This town has its name with a city in Greece, which may lead to some confusion. So if you're looking for the Parthenon on the Acropolis, you may be thinking of the wrong one. However, we do have a lot of Greek architecture, including the large columns on the Annabelle houses around town. Another good example is the Statue of Athena at the Classic Center. We even hosted some events at the 1996 Summer Olympics. Athens is home to the University of Georgia. Founded by a land grant in 1785 and opened to classes in 1801, it is the oldest public university in the country. These arches I'm standing by are a symbol of the university and based on the arches on Georgia State Seal. This beautiful 614-acre campus is not only well known for academics, but it's athletics as well. The university is home to the Georgia Bulldogs, one of the most popular collegiate teams in the South. Our football team considered the national champions in 1942 and 1980 as one of the most enthusiastic fans you could find, especially when we're playing Auburn, Florida, or Georgia Tech, our arch rivals. When the dogs are in town and the 92,476 seats at Sanford Stadium get filled up, Athens comes to a standstill. Here in Athens, this is what it's all about. This is a double barreled cannon that was built for use during the Civil War. It was considered a failure when tested, so it never actually saw battle. But it still stands to this day, points to the north, just in case. You can find this local curiosity right next to our historic city hall. This is the historic Georgia Theater, which was badly damaged by fire last year and is in the process of rebuilding. Being a college town, Island has a very vibrant culture and is the birthplace of such bands as R.E.M., Wise Fair Panic, and the B-52s, many of which have reformed the Georgia Theater. The downtown district is home to great shopping and dining, and our city is now home to people from around the world, making Athens a diverse, unique, and overall great place to live in. Hey, Geo, did you know that even though Georgia is called the Peach State, we're behind California and South Carolina in peach reduction? Nevertheless, we have a peach tree city, Peach County, 71 streets in Atlanta with peach tree in it, peaches on our license plates, and an annual peach drop on New Year's Eve. We even have peaches in our portable toilets. So even though we don't produce as much, as you can clearly see, we still deserve the title. If I was in charge of the world for one day, I would do what most kids would like, get a worldwide permanent ban. On a more serious note, I would end all forms of hatred, discrimination, and prejudice that exist in our world today. Conflict and terrorism arise from such terrible ideas, so by doing this, this would in turn create a more peaceful world. A world where governments could set aside the differences and work towards combating climate change, poverty, disease, and other problems the human race faces. So how do I cram all that stuff into my head? Like most people competing in the GOV, I'm not suddenly competing for the fame and glory of winning, but because I'm truly interested in geography, and I'm competing with being to test my knowledge and have fun. If we're not into geography, Remembering all the information can seem really hard. But for someone who has a real passion and curiosity for geography, it just seems to come naturally. My only tip is to read as much as you can and read with a passion. It also helps if you compete in the B as much as you can and learn from your mistakes. I know I have in the five years I competed. So wish me luck as I represent the state of Georgia, and I hope I can inspire you to do the same one day too.